Hi guys, I'm Haley Morales and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Tarte Mermaid palette. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I honestly don't know what it's called. But I went to Sephora or whatever it was. I don't know. It was in Macy's and I got this. So it's like a shell. It has like kind of an alligator print and then you open it and then it says 99% mermaid and it says Tarte. And this is what it looks like. You can see ourselves. And yes, you're balancing on a mirror. Uh, there's some blues down here and then a lot of shimmers and then some pinky nudes. No, pinky mattes. So I'm going to use that today. And it came with a free gift. because, And I got it 15% off. Everything in my purchase, I got 15% off. It came with this little bag. And it like does that. And it's super satisfying i can make a whole video just like let it focus yes okay so it came with this bag and i know that's probably bothering like a lot of y'all but whatever so inside the bag it looks like that it says tart on this and it came with this little thingy i don't know what it is i think it's one of those things where you put it on top of your head i think it's one of like these things I think it's one of these. And of course it doesn't look good with my bangs. My bangs are annoying me today. They're so ugly. So this is what it looks like. Um, I think that's what you're supposed to use it for. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm not gonna wear my bangs in this video because they're bothering me. And then it came with this under eye brightener. Um, also, I'm sorry for my nails. They're so bad. And this is the cream. You put it under your eyes to brighten it. And it's like, that much it's not much it's just like a sample i'm pretty sure and then it came with this tardist lash paint mascara and you just like open it like that it's kind of weird and i tried out this mascara and i do not like it <laughs> their lights camera lashes is really good but i just don't like this one but everything else about tarte i like it's just this one is not good for my lash type if that makes any sense oh also in my purchase i got these thingies from philosophy and they smell so good i'm gonna start off by brightening my under eyes because they're dark because i've been not getting good sleep it's like thick like me let's start off by priming because i also have to record another video today so I guess we're just gonna get ready for that. Becca sample first light priming filler filter, but it's like purplish, and I'm just gonna put that on. I think this makes like your face lighter. I got it as a free sample from Sephora. It's very thin, and it matches our theme of a mermaid because it's like lilac. So always staying on theme. And my eyebrows. They look full today, but it's just because um, that's leftover brow remnants. I need to do my brows, though, and I don't know where my brow pencil went. That's, like, mandatory. Where is it? So, I'll do my brows first, I guess. I found my Anastasia dip brow, so I'm going to just do that. And I guess I'm going to do my brows off camera because there's no point in doing them on camera because that's not part of the video. Okay guys, so I'm back and these are the brows and they look very bad and it's taking me a long time to do them, but I don't care. I'm just gonna get into the tutorial. I'm all over the place, so I just used ColourPop No Filter Concealer to clean them up and Anastasia Ebony did brow and Anastasia Ebony brow product brush to do them. So, I'm going to zoom y'all in for the eye part because I cannot stand y'all looking at my forehead. Um, this brow right here, I don't know what her deal is, but here is the palette. I look so bad. I'm sorry. I need to like, take a shower, but I'm not about to take a shower real quick. So, here is all the colors. I'm going to go in with the... Uh, M441 and I guess I'm just gonna tap into sandbar it's right here I'm gonna go with in with sandbar right here I'm going to 
put that in my crease. Then I'm gonna go in with Shore Thing. It's right here. It's like a mauve. And I'm also gonna put that in the crease. Um, these colors are blending out perfectly and they're pigmented. And I haven't even gotten any fallout yet. So these, these, this is the eye so far. I'm going to go in with like a denser brush. I don't know, no, not a more firm brush, but like, I don't know. A brush like this and go into Shipwreck. It's right here. And I'm going to pop that in the crease as well. I'm just trying to get a dark crease color because I'm gonna be doing a cut crease. So we want the top to be very pigmented. Now I'm gonna go in with the E27, E23. I always call it E27, I don't know why. But I'm just going to blend it with nothing on the brush. So we don't have any harsh edges because that's the last thing you want. Okay, now I'm gonna do a cut crease. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my lid. And then I'm gonna look up. Oh, that's high. That's high. You're not supposed to do that. I am dumb. You are not supposed to do that. Crap. Why am I actually so dumb? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. How could I be so dumb? Do not do that, please. What you wanna do is go on your lid right here and do that. Just let it flow. No, why isn't it working? It's not supposed to go that high, but whatever. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. How do people do that? I mean, I guess I could go that high, but it kind of looks really weird. No, no, I hate my life. I'm restarting all that hard work and effort I just did. What the heck was that? I don't understand what just happened. Bye. Okay, so I'm back and worse than ever. I tried to fix it and it's not working. So we're just gonna continue um i like how this is a tutorial and it's like a fail i'm gonna go in with this color pop concealer and i'm just gonna have to hand draw it i'm i give up i honestly i'm gonna what what i don't know how this happened I don't, mm, <laughs> what the heck, why is my eye albino, oh my gosh, I hate life, what happens, why does it do that, okay, I'm gonna try again, I think the key to like blending it nicely and not having it go everywhere is going slowly and not rushing it now i'm gonna go into a little brush and shape my cut crease so there we go it's finally done i'm gonna do the other one off camera and i will be back okay so now that i have this i'm going to blend out the end with this Juno and Co brush. It's just like a firm eyeshadow brush. Ooh. And then I'm just going to blend it out and also tap it because like there's a lot on it. So Okay, so that's that. 
Uh, my eyes are watering profusely. I'm gonna get a brush like this. Airspun powder right here. And I'm gonna set it with that because it's like super wet. So now comes... So now comes the fun part. And I'm gonna go into shipwreck and shore thing. And I'm gonna put it on the... No, I don't know what to do. I guess I'm gonna like define the crease with it. I don't know what I just did, but whatever. So we just defined it, I guess. I'm gonna get Fix Plus and spray this Packer Brush from Morphe. And then I'm gonna go into Lagoon right here. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go in the middle of the eye. Should I zoom you in again? I look so bad, it's like not even funny. Okay, I'll zoom all in a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna go into a brush like this by e.l.f. I'm gonna spray it a little bit and then I'm gonna go into bubbles and go on the inside. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner and then blend it in. And lastly, I'm gonna go into beach, please. And then put that in the outer edge and just mix it with Lagoon to create like a purpley shade. And that does look ugly, <laughs> but I'll take shipwreck and go on top of it because that looks pretty bad. And then I'm gonna get Lagoon and put that on top of it. Okay, so now I'm going to blend out the ugly edge right here. And I'm gonna brush all the excess off. And then I'm gonna go back into shipwreck and put that on the outer edge again. And this look sucks. It is so ugly. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with the color pop thing and I'm gonna try to fix this up. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm aware I look like a clown. So the eyeshadow has like gone to the top and I like so bad it is not blended and i'm sorry this video is a flop and what the heck is my eyebrow i got some next tame frame and i put on some fake freckles it took me a long time to do the contour and blush and it looks horrible but it's fine um i'm gonna do the under eyes so i'm gonna go in with just a brush and i'm gonna use shipwreck of course Go under the lash line. I'm gonna pinch the brush because I'm too lazy to get an actual brush. Now I'm going to do lips. I'm just gonna use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Also, this is in the color Stock Column, and that does not match, so we're not gonna use that. I literally look like a clown right now. I guess we're just gonna use a gloss today, so I'm gonna use this Neutrogena Hydrating Lip Shine. Wait, no, I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie because that always comes through and it always saves the day. Okay, now I'm gonna do highlight. So I'm gonna go into Moonchild by Anastasia and I'm going to get a brush like this. This is the, whoa! This is the 510 brush by Morphe, which is the iconic highlighting brush. I'm gonna spray it with Fix Plus. <sighs> we love drag makeup. Okay, um, I'm gonna go into Blue Eyes. I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. Sorry, it's not focusing. I don't know what's wrong with it. And I'm also gonna go into purple horseshoe. And I'm gonna put purple horseshoe right here. So I'm gonna take star and basically just highlight the crap out of my face 
And then for the nose, I'm going to use, I don't have any pencil brushes right now. So I'm going to go into a horseshoe star and blue eyes. And I'm going to put a little dot right here on my nose. And then down it. And then some on the chin. Some on the forehead right here. And then I'm going to get my finger going to blue eyes go under my brow bone and then i'm gonna get blue eyes and go in my inner corner we look bad because we don't have mascara or eyelashes or anything on i think that's what this look is needing so i'm um, i just got a bunch of lashes from dodo um before i do that i'm gonna go into i need to turn this up gosh dang it i love life okay I'm gonna go into this NYX Glam Liner Aqua Lux and I'm gonna put the on top. I can't do this. My big old mirror. What? I just ruined it. Oh my gosh. I'm not posting this. I'm not posting this. The amount of effort I put into this look. And I'm just not going to post it again. I post this and pretend it's April Fool's. Clearly don't understand what just happened. What? I'm so confused. Look how... No. No. I'm going to continue going on with the look. Maybe I could catfish in the thumbnail. I'm gonna cry. So I got some lashes from Dota Lashes. You can use my code Haley Marie Morales at checkout for 5% off. 313. I'm gonna use the 313s. Just put these on and I'll be back. I look so ugly. I hate my life. I tried to put on these eyelashes and they will not sit on my face. And they're poking my eyeballs and they hurt so bad. And then, like, Nothing is working. Now these freaking scissors won't even work. These $12 lashes that I paid for. I don't know where the lash glue went. Probably went all over the floor. It's still everywhere. I am so done. Like, I look so bad. This is not look good. And nobody is going to do this. If they do it, they're going to do it so much better than me. I don't even know why I'm still recording. Probably uh, wasting all this battery space. I'm so fed up. Like, I don't even know. I, this uh, literally makes me not want to continue to do makeup anymore. Like, how the la lash glue is getting all in the lash everywhere. I was so excited to use these lashes, and now, like, they don't even work. Even though they're not doing anything wrong, I have no more lash glue. I'm running out. Like, And it looks so bad. My hair is a mess. My highlight looks ugly. I'm so done. My eyebrows look ugly. It took me like five times to do my eyebrows too. Like y'all don't y'all didn't even see that. My contours took me five years. Mm. I'm not sure to put these lashes on. And if they don't work, then I'm just gonna quit and not do eyelashes. And now my eyelash disappeared. Where did it go? I'm so good. Ew, it's in my hair. They always do that. That's honestly the most annoying thing. Eyelashes can't even fix this look. And that's saying a lot. Like, no matter how bad your look is, lashes are always there. Today, they're just not. I was supposed to film another video today, and I don't know if I could do it because I'm so demotivated. I'm going to quit YouTube. Okay. So, those are the lashes. Now, I'm going to put on some mascara. What the heck? I swear if one of these lashes gets in my face and gets in my eye, I'm gonna go insane. What even is my eye, my eyeshadow? I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand how it got that bad. Like, okay. Well, I'm gonna use this Neutrogena Healthy Volume Mascara. Not even good anymore. Like it's just bad. I'm never gonna get on anyone's PR list 
because I'm dragging everyone in this video and I don't care like look how bad this is it's not working anymore oops got it on my face does this happen to anyone else like do people actually go and say when they put on their makeup or not because I really ooh got it all over my finger now it's all over my hand okay well that's it my bangs look ugly I'm literally just about to cut them I'm about to cut my bangs right now they are the most annoying things ever. Well, I gotta put it over something, so. Well, that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Follow all my socials. They'll be in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.